pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On behalf of the class of 2003, I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome everybody, our family and our friends who've put up with us and supported us through our school years, our beloved faculty and staff for sharing their leadership and guidance, for sharing their passion for bettering America's youth, to our beloved principal, Dr. Johnson, for his mentorship and for being our friend, and just to everybody who's played a part in our lives, because without you, none of this would be possible. The 10 banners you see before you represent honor and excellence. The elite of our class, the top 10 seniors, have earned this honor and excellence of bearing these banners. Let's give them a round of applause. Again, on behalf of the class of 2003, thank you. Hi, I'm Ashley Cantrell, Vice President of the Class of 2003, and it's my honor today to introduce our platform guests. To my right are Dr. Michael Johnson, Principal of South Cobb High School, Miss Betty Gray, Cobb County School District Board Member for Post 3, Dr. Thomas Dorman, Area 1 Superintendent for the Cobb County School District, Miss Patricia Bice, Associate Principal. Mr. Larry Hoover, Assistant Principal. Ms. Jordan Young, Assistant Principal. Ms. Brenda Rich, Assistant Administrator. Ms. Lee Graham, Assistant Administrator. Ms. Gwen Sewell, Senior Class Sponsor. Ms. Denise Fountain, Senior Class Sponsor. Seated to my left are Mr. Matthew Couch, President of the Class of 2003. Ms. Kia Seeger, Secretary. Ms. Jana Lamb, Treasurer. Mr. Charles Cox, Valedictorian. Mr. Zachary Wilcox, Salutatorian. Ms. Kelly Mills, President of the Student Government. Mr. Douglas Snyder, Senior Class Sponsor. Mr. Samuel Griffith, Assistant Administrator. And Ms. Joy Th Joyce Thompson, Assistant Principal. Hello, my name is Kia Siggers and I am Secretary of the Class of 2003. I would like to introduce to you Dr. Michael Johnson. Dr. Michael Johnson came to South Cobb High School as principal during the 2000-2001 school term. He has been an inspiration to the student body of South Cobb High School and especially to the senior class of 2003. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you my principal, my friend, and my mentor, Dr. Michael D. Johnson. Good afternoon, honored guests, faculty, parents, friends of the graduates. Speaking for the faculty and staff of South Cobb High School, I welcome you to the 2003 commencement ceremony. The 2003 graduating seniors are special to me in that this group, for the most part, has been with me for three years. The graduating class is unique in that it will initiate our next 50 years of service to the residents of South Cobb County. South Cobb High School is proud of its tradition of excellence with this group of graduating seniors, the school will continue and expand its legacy of excellence for the next half century. Speaking on behalf of our graduates and our faculty, I'm going to thank and acknowledge the following individuals. First, our special best guest, Ms. Betty Gray, best is correct also, of the Cobb County Board of Education. I thank Ms. Gray for her unwavering support of South Cobb High School, her care and concern for the youth of Cobb County. To that end, Ms. Gray, we are deeply indebted to your leadership. Would you like to say a share of words? Secondly, Dr. Thomas Dorman, Area 1 Superintendent, a gentleman that I've learned much from this year and who has supported the goals and aspirations of our school. More to the point, I know of no one that has supported and fought for the interests of students in the southern section of this county any more so than Dr. Dorman and I thank you for your unwavering support for the students of South Cobb High School. Finally, ceremonies such as commencement require an enormous amount of planning, organizing, and just plain old hard work, as they'd say in West Virginia. 
I would be remiss if I did not thank my administrative team, Ms. Gail Bice, Mr. Benny Farmer, Mr. Larry Hoover, and especially Ms. Joyce Thompson. She's the administrator in charge of graduation. She's a stickler for detail and absolute insistence upon excellence. Ms. George Ann Young, Ms. Lee Graham, Mr. Sam Griffith, and Ms. Brenda Rich for the time and energy they have given this program. In the same vein, the senior sponsors, Ms. Denise Fountain, Ms. Gwen Sewell, and Mr. Doug Snyder for the year, that they have worked with our senior class as well as the senior class advisors, the counselors. It is a time, energy, and practice and organization of these individuals that allow this ceremony to come into fruition. Finally, and by no means last, this wonderful group of young ladies and gentlemen who will shortly receive their diploma. It has been my privilege to work with these seniors for three years. And I thank you for that privilege, and I thank you guys for a job well done. Four years ago, in the ninth grade, this group started on a journey with a mission, and that destination was graduation. To a great extent, one can use the analogy of a river flowing to the ocean. Along the way, you added new members to your group, and you lost members from your group. But the overriding theme from day one has been graduation. Did you ever wonder or ask yourself, why is the freshman class of a high school usually the largest in number? Why is it that today you're going to graduate and some of the peers that you started with in the ninth grade are not here today? Zell Miller, former governor of Georgia, now the United States Senator, once said, if you're walking down a country road and you see a turtle on the top of a fence post, you know one thing for an absolute certainty. And that absolute certainty is the turtle didn't get there by himself. Journeys are rarely, if ever, accomplished without assistance and support. The first group I need to single out for their support would be the parents who have given you physical support, emotional and financial support going through school, your guardians. The second group, and some of you are not going to always agree with this one, would be your brothers, sisters, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, and just plain old friends. Finally, there's a third group that work closely with your parents in this journey, and that group is comprised of your teachers from kindergarten through your senior year. This group provided you with academic skills, social and emotional support, and like the other two previous groups, the most important element of all, love. Finally, as you leave here today, don't you ever forget that as you receive support and assistance on your journey, you need to replay that debt by assisting and supporting others as they are on their journey. The accomplishment of this group of individuals from the ninth grade to the present is astounding. For a brief moment, let's examine but a few of their accomplishments. Students in this class have been accepted in universities that span the United States from New Jersey to Arkansas, as well as prestigious colleges and universities in the state of Georgia, and throughout the South. The class has amassed more than a half a million dollars in scholarships. Graduation is not the terminal point in your education. Rather, it is but one step in a lifelong process. Science and technology has advanced to the level that we now live and compete in an informational society rather than in a purely industrial one. We are in a period of such rapid change that it may well be termed a knowledge revolution. Consider, for exa example, the advancement that computers and technology have afforded mankind. At present, more than 7,000 scientific articles are written each day. Scientific information doubles every five years. Scientific knowledge doubles every 10 years. More than 80% of the world's te technological knowledge has developed in the last century, that is to say, since 1910. The explosion in knowledge, information, and the data is not limited to science. All areas of our society are experiencing unprecedented growth and in information, and data continues to multiply. Generally speaking, in one year, we double our information and knowledge. The ability to master knowledge and apply it will be the prerequisite for success competing in the information society. Scientific advances technologies and computers impact almost all phases of our life. Biologists who are computer literate are in great demand. Automotive mechanics who can troubleshoot the computer controls are in increasing short supply. To successfully compete in this knowledge-driven world, 
One will need to become a lifelong learner, and that is a term that you're going to hear much of as you go down the life road. During your four-year tenure at South Cobb High School, many things have occurred in our country that will forever change 